This video is sponsored by Lingoda, the online language school. The city of Wiesbaden, the capital of the state of Hesse, has a history going back to Roman times, but you won't find the usual collection of timber-framed houses that most historic German cities have. Most of what you see today was built between 1850 and 1914, making it the ideal destination for anyone interested in neoclassic and Art Nouveau architecture. Wiesbaden escaped the Second World War with relatively little damage and later escaped the worst that post-war city planners could have done to it. Although you can certainly find some examples of questionable modern architecture, plans to modernise the city were dropped as they would have involved the demolition of a large number of historic buildings. This would have included Villa Clementina, the scene of an infamous diplomatic incident in 1888. The Queen of Serbia had just moved in with her 12-year-old son, only for the King to file for a divorce and demand the return of the Crown Prince. Eventually, the local police controversially took the Prince by force and put him on a train to Belgrade. But Wiesbaden didn't become famous for abducting members of foreign royal families. What really made Wiesbaden was its geothermic springs. The biggest of these is the hot spring, so called because the water has a temperature of 66.1 degrees Celsius, much higher than that recommended for bath water. Some of the water is piped to two public fountains, but most is fed into the city's thermal water system, which among other things heats the city hall. The Romans of course were very much into bathing, so it's not surprising that they built a city here. One of the very few relics of that era is known as the Heathen Wall. And this isn't it. This is the so-called Roman Gate, which was actually built in 1903. The real Roman parts are the less spectacular bits on either side. Right next to it is the Kaiser Friedrich bathhouse, which uses water from Wiesbaden's second biggest spring and was completed in 1913. And so, about 18 centuries of history are missing from Wiesbaden's architecture. Well, not quite. The medieval street layout is still there, even if the buildings are more recent. The oldest building in Wiesbaden is the Old City Hall, built in the early 17th century. It's still in use as the registry office, meaning you can get married there, but the city council now meets in the palatial New City Hall, completed in 1887. It was even more ornate than it is now, but following bomb damage in the Second World War, the facade was rebuilt in a much simpler style. The real palace was built in the 1830s as a residence for the Dukes of Nassau and is now part of a complex that houses the Hessian State Assembly. The Market Church was also built around that time and is still the tallest building in the city. The West Tower rises 88 metres above the marketplace. All this is in the historic centre of Wiesbaden, which has the form of an irregular pentagon. 
To 19th century city planners, the chaotic layout was a bit of an embarrassment. As the city grew, their solution was to build wide boulevards with grand buildings and churches to cordon off the historic Pentagon from the modern city. These new developments survive to this day, quiet, leafy streets of impressive early 20th century houses. During this period, the city's population was doubling every 20 years. To the east of the centre, the spa house was built. It wasn't just for bathing, it was a social and entertainment centre and included a casino in which Dostoevsky is said to have lost all his money but gained the inspiration for his novel The Gambler. Nearby is the Hessian State Theatre, built in only 22 months and inspired by theatres in Prague, Zurich and Vienna. Behind the spa house, for the benefit of those visiting for a rest cure, the tranquil Kur Park was designed, taking English gardens as its inspiration. It even has some fake Roman ruins. As much as 19th century architects preferred to forget the Middle Ages, they just couldn't get enough of the Romans. I'd like to thank my sponsor, Lingoda, the online language school. What I really like about it is that you use the magic of the internet to attend virtual classes of about five students with real, live human teachers. You can learn German or English or French or Spanish from qualified native speakers. Follow the link in the description and use the code RUBOS1 for a 15% discount.